So now, the Pythagorean theorem. This theorem is named after the Greek mathematician and philosopher Pythagoras, and here's a picture of him. This picture is, uh, was not done when he was alive. Pythagoras lived uh, hundreds of years BC, around 500 BC, and this, this is from a painting by Raphael that dates back to medieval times, around the 1400s. Uh, the, so the, the painting is not first hand, but this is what we think he might have looked like. Pythagoras was one of the early thinkers to discover this theorem, and so it's named after him. But it's, it was discovered also by a lot of other people in the ancient world, and it's named other things in other parts of the world. But we refer to it as the Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean theorem can be stated a few different ways. Here's one way to say it. For any right triangle, the length of one leg squared plus the length of the other leg squared equals the length of the hypotenuse squared. So let's draw that. For any right triangle, so here's a right triangle, the length of one leg squared, so that length squared, plus the length of the other leg squared, so that length squared, is going to equal the length of the hypotenuse squared. That's one way to say the Pythagorean theorem. Here's another. For any right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That statement means the same thing as the early, earlier statement. If a triangle is a right triangle, then the square of the hypotenuse, and, and what we mean there is the square of the length of the hypotenuse. So if you measure the hypotenuse and you, you find that it's 5, then we're talking about 5 squared, or 25. The square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square of the other two sides. So again, we can draw it. The square of the hypotenuse, that length squared, is going to equal the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So one of them squared plus the other one squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. Probably the most, most common and most useful way to state it is like this. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that statement of the Pythagorean theorem is usually accompanied by a diagram like this. A right triangle with one leg of length a and another leg of length b and then the hypotenuse of length c. And if you have a right triangle, and it's pretty customary to call the hypotenuse length c, and, if, and, the, and the legs length a and b, if you have a right triangle with legs length a and b and hypotenuse c, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that, that formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, is the most common statement of the theorem, and it's probably the way that it's most commonly remembered and used in, in almost every situation where it shows up. And we'll look at some examples of using the Pythagorean theorem next.